Okay everyone, I've just slowed up a bit. I've just done a good half an hour's march with no videoing and I'm still going to be doing more of marching in a minute because time is running out. I've still got a long way to go and it's going to be dark very soon I think. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm just doing a very small video. I don't normally rush my videos. Uh, this is a beautiful area to video but it's getting late. I've overestimated this route and basically if I get back before it's dark I'll be lucky and this is the train I'm in and dark woods and I've never been here before. All I know is I'll keep following the river to Lymouth. I'm not even at Waters Meet yet and I thought I was miles away. It's I am feeling a little bit worried because uh, more of it getting dark, not the distance isn't worrying me and it is quite a good route at the moment. It has been quite good, not as strenuous as the other one I did earlier today. Saying that, probably great big hills will come along in a minute. Um, but it is beautiful and I thought it's a shame not to video, there's so much of this that I couldn't video. I've had to really, really march. Uh, I'm going to speed up again in a minute. I'm just getting my breath back. I didn't want people... I didn't want to miss videoing all this sort of beauty. You know. Several people did look alarmed when I said I was walking back via this route. They said it's a long way. But they said you can do it. I met people who done it earlier in the day. They started early. I should have started at 6 o'clock this morning to do this route. But I wanted breakfast. There's a lot of video missing. and Anyway, this is a place called Waters Meet. I recognise it from the brochures. It's all shut now, look. No cup of tea for me at the end of the day. And all the arrows have gone missing and all. To Linmouth. Thank God for that. To Linmouth. Two miles it is. I've got two miles to go. Oh. Right, I've only just turned the video back on everyone. I think it's going to be straightforward now. But uh, unfortunately, because I didn't know how long it would take me, right, because I didn't know. I had to do a speed march. Uh, I couldn't video for two miles at least of the river because I had to really, really put my foot down. And as most people know, I amble usually. That would have been packed with people earlier. And this is the way back to Limbo now, two miles. I'm staying up here. That's the last human being. I feel a bit more relieved now though, because I've, there would have been people, but it's shut now. That place is shut.
It is lovely. I can cool down a bit now. It's two miles. There's still a long way. I don't know if it's like this all the way on this track. I think it might be. That would be easier. Easier to see if it does get dark. I've got my phone. Six o'clock was a long time ago. Um, I can't remember what time I got to County Gate. I reckon it was four-ish. Yeah, it was, because it took me seven hours. Then, for it's ages since I looked at my watch. Ages. So basically, I'm just going to have a look now. Yeah, it's okay. We can do it. It's quarter past seven. Should be able to do it now. I don't know, mind. There's a nice little footbridge. I've got no idea if you should go over it. I'm going to just go on it while I'm on the route. But according to the... I think you can... I think this is a bridge. You can go either way up the river. The National Trust Chiselcombe Bridge. The bridge was built from public subscriptions to the North Devon and West Somerset flood relief after the destruction of the ancient bridge in the flood of 15th of August 1952. It was declared open by the Earl of Fort something rather. 22nd of September 1957. So this old bridge was actually swept away by this river coming down here. Amazed and how powerful that must have been. That must have been a hell of a flood. Just going to stop and take some photos.